Good morning, Mr. Bond. We have had reports of a new global threat. Report to me for further training. Operation Macro Crunch is our new top priority. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Macro Crunch YouTube channel. Today I've got a very special video for you guys. We're gonna do the James Bond daily diet and exercise routine for your eyes only, for one day only, and we're gonna see how it goes. Now this is the daily diet and exercise routine of Daniel Craig when he was training for Casino Royale, his very first James Bond movie. It's a little outdated, but it's the only one I could find and I'll leave a link in the description below to the article I used to get all this information. Of course, Macro Crunch is a nutrition channel focusing mainly on eating healthy and achieving your goals through food. And I wasn't actually gonna include a lot of training videos, but you know what they say, never say never again. And sometimes the world is not enough. But with a busy schedule like Daniel Craig, sometimes there's just no time to die. So let's get into it, shall we? Now, before we fully kick things off, let's outline how the day's gonna go. So, Daniel Craig eats five times mainly on a day. He has the breakfast, lunch, and a dinner, and two snacks, one between breakfast and lunch, and one between lunch and dinner. He trains once per day, doing a weight session with some cardio added in. He didn't specify when he trains throughout the day, so I'm gonna get it done in the morning to base it around my schedule with university lectures and whatnot this afternoon, and take you guys along with me. But with that being said, Let's get into meal number one and go and have some breakfast. So to kick things off, it's said that 007 himself starts his day with two eggs and two pieces of wholemeal toast. So I've got that here. It said he takes his eggs poached rather than fried, which is gonna be interesting to see if I can poach an egg. Uh, but we'll get into it and we'll start off with meal number one. Okay, so meal number one, we have the two eggs and two pieces of toast. The cooking process of that has laid out that it's probably gonna be less James Bond today, more Austin Powers, but uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna tuck into this. The macros and calories will all be down at the bottom here uh, for, every, uh, for every meal that we eat today. I've also got this cafetiere with the macro crunch mug, uh, just to sort of give myself a bit more energy throughout the day. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, this is meal one. This is Daniel Craig's 007 diet breakfast. Annoyingly, it didn't say that he has any like ketchup or even salt and pepper and stuff with it. It just said he has two eggs, two pieces of wholemeal toast, and that was it. So. No butter either, so it's going to be a little bit dry, but we'll see how it goes. I don't usually eat toast, I'm usually more of a cereal or oats type of guy, but um, it's just a nice, it's a nice change in my diet at least. The eggs were not perfectly cooked through. I overcooked them quite a lot. So that's meal number one done. I'm gonna go and film some extra little bits of footage for this video, some little um, some little connectors and stuff, do some work, and then we'll get into the snack, the workout, and the rest of the day. So it's been about an hour since we last ate. I'm just editing some videos now as we go, 
and I'm gonna go on to snack number one just about an hour before I go and train at the gym. So I've got this fruit and nut mix I got from Aldi. This has 79 calories in it and I've got a blueberry protein shake. I know a bit of a controversial flavor. I like it uh, and it's just what I had in. Uh, so this is the first snack of the day that Daniel Craig would have during his daily routine and diet when training. So I'm gonna get these down, finish editing the video and get to the gym in around an hour and we'll tackle the workout. Oh, trust me, blueberry protein. Don't knock it till you try it. So I'm just on the way to the gym now. Uh, it's gonna be around a two hour session all in all with cardio involved, but diamonds are forever, gym sessions are not. So let's get this done, get it out of the way and get back to eating. It's also quite a rainy day today in Sheffield. We've got a little bit of a skyfall going on. So guys, for the workout, we kicked things off with a 4x10 on the incline bench press. Now this was a lot heavier than I usually go. Uh, it looks quite lightweight, but it is what it is. Then it's followed by 4x10 on pull-ups. Then knee raises, 3x10. These are pretty easy. Lat raises, 4x10. Weighted step-ups, 3x10. These were super easy. I enjoyed these though. Then it was shoulder press, 4x10 followed up by barbell squats again heavier than I usually go but it was feeling good then hamstring curls 4x10 super simple I love this exercise and then incline push-ups to wrap it up 3x10 okay so just finished up at the gym heading back now we'll get uh, meal number three well technically two but if we don't count the snack but we'll get some lunch in us great session I'll wrap up a little bit more about you know what I thought the session stuff uh, at the end when I summarize but Overall, it was very hard. I did, uh, I did an extra 35 minutes on the bike. I'll pop that on the side of the screen here, the Strava screenshot. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you when I'm back. So we're back from the workout now. The time is currently 20 past 11. So it's good to have the workout out of the way early because I've got a lot on this afternoon. Just having another quick cup of coffee. Yeah, gonna eat lunch in around an hour. So I'm gonna carry on editing some videos and then jump into it, cook lunch and see what I think okay, of it. So for meal number two, we're gonna tackle chicken and rice. The bodybuilder's icon. I've only got frozen chicken and I need to prep some rice as well. So it's gonna take a few minutes to get this one ready. A lot easier to cook for than the first meal, trying to poach eggs. And then I'll show the macros, calories and whatnot, and I'll eat it. Now when it comes to the chicken, I've got it defrosting in the microwave just over there. It doesn't say how to prepare it or how he prepares it. So I'm gonna pan fry it. Yeah, it's a non-stick pan, so it doesn't need any oil or anything. So the macros will be exactly the same. I assume you could oven grill it, but it didn't say, so I'm just gonna do this because it's easier um, and the macros will be the same. Right, so here we've got meal number two, chicken and rice, like I said, uh, fried the chicken, we've been over this. Uh, it didn't again specify whether he seasons it or not, but I can't even remember, just plain chicken. So I put a little bit of salt and pepper on it. He's James Bond after all, not James Bland. It also didn't say about quantity, so I just did one chicken breast, cut it in half because, you know, a pair of breasts is always better than just one. And I did 75 grams of rice, just enough for like of one recommended portion. Um, again, because it didn't give specifications on the measurements. So, I'm gonna get this down and that is meal number three. I forget how hard it is to eat just plain chicken. Well, salt and pepper, but chicken and rice, man. How do, I don't know how people do it.
Right, okay, that's meal number three done, or lunch done. Um, overall, I mean, it's pretty standard. There's not really much to say about chicken and rice. That being said, it is gonna fill me up. It's not what I typically, you know, I always talk about volume eating and whatnot on the channel. So this definitely isn't something I'd eat. Um, as always, macros will be on the screen at some point during this sort of period of filming. But yeah, I think eating this every day for lunch would become so repetitive so quickly. I imagine he's eating more rice because it seems quite a little, but then the diet also stated that it's nice to cut out carbs. So maybe that isn't much room for a bit more rice, if that makes sense. Either way, pretty standard lunch and looking forward to snack too and dinner. Two hours later. So right now I'm having snack number two. As you can see, it's just Greek yogurt and a banana. One of my uni sessions was moved earlier, hence why I couldn't actually film like a proper bit for this and I'm doing just a voiceover of it. Overall, it was great. Uh, it's around two hours after I ate lunch. I was super, super hungry before this, so I definitely needed to get this down. One thing I'm noticing so far is that hunger is a big thing on this diet. Eating very small portions and not a lot of different foods is really making me hungry. So I'm just walking back from a meeting now at my university. It's my book of class here. Just a little update, it's been around four hours now since I last ate, and that was the stack number two just before my lecture, and I'm starving. I don't know how he does this every day when he's training for a Bond film, but yeah, I'm gonna get in, have a shower, and then we'll get in with the last meal of the day, meal number five, dinner. Okay, so we fresh out the shower. I know what you're thinking. Third outfit change of the day. It is what it is. For dinner, I've got two steaks and some broccoli. Again, that's all he has. Super low carb meal, somewhat higher in fats. It's even said that when he's training to bulk up a little bit, he has two steaks rather than one, hence why I've got two just defrosted now. That student lifestyle, everything's out of the freezer. Uh, gonna get that cooked now and then round off the day with the summary. Let's do it. A sad looking meal. So, final meal two pork steaks and broccoli. He didn't specify what steaks he had. I assumed it'd be beef, but I don't have that sort of money. This was in the freezer, so I thought two pork steaks, pretty standard. Plus, the high fat content means that it's going to have a bit more calories, and they were really low this day, uh, today. I'll cover that at the end of the summary. Uh, the broccoli, again, didn't say how to cook it, didn't say how to cook the steaks either, so I just boiled the broccoli and pan fried the steak. Again, non stick pan doesn't change the macros. Uh, this is meal number five, so I'm super hungry right now. The snack did a little bit very short term because the banana high in carbs sort of filled me up a little bit. But about half an hour later, I was ravenous again. So now I'm really hungry and I'm going to get through this and uh, yeah, do a little summary at the end of the day. Quite rare that I'll eat stuff like this in my normal diet. I will do a video about my normal diet because I do think it is really good, especially for people trying to lose weight and eat a lot of food. Like I say, I always preach volume eating. So it's been nice to mix it up, but meats like this can be, I don't know if it's the way I've cooked it, but it's quite tough. I'm glancing up at the bottom of the bottle of ketchup but I won't use it. That's meal number five. That's all the eating done. We did the workout this morning. So let's jump back onto the computer and do a final summary and talk about the macros and what I thought of the general diet. So there you have it guys. That was the full James Bond 007 daily diet and exercise routine. So what did I think of it? Well, let's break it down, first with the food, meal by meal. Now breakfast, eggs on toast is nothing I wouldn't typically have, but it was actually really good. It really filled me up and it was a great fuel, especially just to get me through the morning. And with working out in the morning as well, that in combination with snack number one was great. And for, 
And for quite low calories, it's a really great option to get a good bit of protein in and some high carbs in the morning. So it was actually really good. Snack number one, the berries were really good again. And the protein shake, like I said, don't knock blueberry protein until you tried it. But it was actually, again, just another great protein hit and some good carbs from the, from the berries. Lunch is where the day kind of took a little bit of a turn. Chicken and rice, it's not a meal I would eat at all. It's not... It's filling, but it's not going to satisfy you at all, especially if you're going to stick to this for a long period of time. I don't know exactly how long he filmed that James Bond for, or how long he was on this diet. But that being said, I couldn't see it being consistent for a normal person without an end goal that they've got to train for, because without that sort of motivation, it would be very hard to stick to this amount of discipline. Snack number two, meal number four yogurt and fruit i opted for banana it didn't specify again which one it did say it include nuts but i didn't have any and i didn't really want to add them because it's a lot of calories and i don't really eat nuts in my general diet anyway and it said they were optional so i just went for the fruit option instead the banana gave me a boost of energy filled me up for around half an hour to an hour and then after that i was so hungry again but again just a good protein hit from the yogurt and some complex carbs in the way of the banana and finally dinner now dinner for what it was just broccoli and two steaks it wasn't bad high protein low carb and it has filled me up I'm filming this about an hour after i ate it and i'm still really full so overall the diet was decent I couldn't see it being consistent and it isn't actually that much food but let's play it by the numbers and take a look at the actual macros and calories that i've taken in today and assess it from there so in total for the day guys it's been 1698 calories now this may be this may or may not be accurate it's purely because the article i read was the best i could find but it didn't give measurements of to how much of each food i should be eating therefore i just sort of whimmed it a little bit again there was a lot of optional uh, points in there as well like the fruit you know you could add nuts you could or you didn't have to it didn't say what fruit to have different types of bread will have different calories for example you may have a seeded whole grain i just went for a whole meal like it said on the article again didn't say how much chicken how much steak you know how much rice things like that will all affect it but for what i did i think i've done a good job to accurately represent the daily diet along with the calories there was 149 grams of carbs 43 grams of fat and 179 grams of protein now that for me one gram to one pound of body weight is near enough spot on i am 180 pounds at the moment so 179 grams is pretty good for me Low carb in 149, to be honest, usually in my diet, I'm hitting around 300 grams daily. But fats are around what I'd usually have. They were very low, 43 grams. That being said, the meal breakdown in terms of calories was pretty accurate as well. I think, I mean, both snacks were 184 calories and dinner was 465, lunch was 584 and breakfast was super low at 282. Pretty standard setup. I mean, this would be the sort of calories you'd be on if you were trying to cut, especially for a female who's on lower calories anyway. The one thing I would say is that it did specify a lot when he's bulking up compared to when he's not. So it may be different depending on. For example, like I mentioned with the steak cooking, it said that he has two steaks when he's trying to bulk, whereas normally he may just have one. It didn't say that, but that's what I'm inferring from them specifying that he has two when he's bulking however 1700 calories for bulking filming you know your expenditure is going to be high and if your intake's low it's unlikely you're going to build a lot of muscle it can build muscle in a deficit but it's just at a much slower rate therefore i feel like the quantities i use may not be accurate and he's probably eating a lot more especially on the carb side it did say that the focus of this diet was to keep carbs low and cut down on the consumption of healthy fats we can see that by 43 grams of fat a day but that being said there was still quite a lot of carbs in the way of rice and bread typically bread is a food that a lot of people cut out straight away i was surprised to see that all in all a very well-rounded diet good carbs good proteins and definitely some good healthy fats in there as well so overall i had a great time filming this video drop a comment on who you want to see me do their di daily diet and exercise routine next i'll do anyone male female famous not famous i don't care i had great fun filming this video it's something different with that being said guys that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching drop a comment like subscribe click the bell so you never miss a video especially now we're bringing out great content like this follow us over on the macro crunch instagram account is at macro crunch i'll have it down the bottom as always and i'll catch you in the next video bye